So um, you're very welcome um, this evening. Um, so today's talk is going to be about um, the Bachelor of Education um, and about the three routes that there is in the Bachelor of Education. Um, so we've got DC002, DC003 and DC004. So uh, my name's Oshin O'Burn. I'm a third year student here on the Bachelor of Education course. So I have another year and a half to go. Um, and I have to say, I've really enjoyed enjoyed my time on the course so far. Um, it's been a fantastic experience. Um, and I've made, made lots of new friends um, on the course and I'm enjoying that so far. Okay, um, so this is our campus. Um, so our campus is called St. Patrick's College in Drumcondra here in County Dublin. Um, most of your lectures on the Bachelor of Education will take place on the St. Patrick's campus. Um, I would even go to say 98% of them over the four years will. Um, you may have one or two, like two lectures in All Hallows campus, but don't worry, All Hallows campus is only a five minute walk um, from St. Patrick's campus um, for maybe like an Irish lecture now and again. But the majority of um, your lectures will be on the St. Pat's campus. Um, there's a lot of things in the St. Pat's campus. So you've got a big, massive um, three-story library. Um, you've got a big canteen there as well. Um, we have a seating area called Java is where there's lots of like couches and bean bags and stuff to sit on. And then finally, there's a big seating area called the E Block. And again, it's kind of a place, it's a hallway kind of to chill and maybe to talk with friends and things like that. So um, about primary teaching itself and why would I, why would you be interested in doing primary teaching? Um, well, over the years, primary teaching has changed a lot. Um, so, for example, when I was in primary school, a lot of it was um, book orientated. So it would be open up page 36 of Alive O and we'll do this page here. Um, so that's changed a lot now. Um, nowadays, it is more so about active learning and getting the children to do activities using um, concrete materials like lollipop sticks, Lego blocks for maths, maybe. Um, for English, we would use anchor charts. Um, for Irish, you'd use lots of digital resources and maybe Teddy, um, things, you know, Bia, um, from like toys from Smiths as well. So um, it has changed as time goes on and you will find that in the next 20 years time, it will change yet again. Um, so it's a profession that's constantly evolving and changing and it's always a modern profession to work in. So I'm just going to quickly go through the history of um, teaching and St. Pat's itself. So St. Patrick's College, the site um, first offered teacher education since 1875 um, I know for a fact that my own great grandfather in the 1920s um, studied in St. Patrick's campus um, for two years to become a qualified primary teacher. So you can imagine the amount of teachers that have been kind of churned out of um, paths. Which, and so the college have lots of experience of um, qualifying teachers, I suppose, you know. Um, and then in 2016, um, so before 2016, St. Patrick's College was its independent kind of college. But now, after 2016, it got incorporated into with DCU. So which means was um, I live close near, I'm, I'm, I'm from County Loud originally, but when I'm staying up in Dublin, I live closer to the Glass 7 campus. But it means that I can use all of the 
facilities and resources in the Glasnevin campus, in All Hallows campus, and in St. Patrick's campus because I'm a DCU student, so it was brilliant. Um, St. Patrick's campus was the first faculty of education in Ireland. It's internationally one of the three education faculties and it caters for all levels of teaching. So from um, preschool to primary school to secondary school and um, to even if you would like to be a lecturer, you know, to study a PhD um, it facilitates that as well. So again, just I'll just talk about this very quickly um, so responding to change. So, you know, 100 years ago, um, teachers, it was very, for the children, school maybe wasn't enjoyable. You know, at the time, there was the likes of corporate punishment if um, the students misbehaved in class. It was very, the teacher would have been very author authoritarian, um, you know, very strict, lots of learning things off by heart and not really enjoyable. Whereas today, different approach to it, it's more child-centred. We actually, we give the students um, activities to do, but with those activities, they're child-centred and they lead themselves in the activities. Um, so like I've done activities with um, children before and it's amazing that you think that they're going to write something specific down and they write something completely different which you know an, an idea or an opinion which is brilliant to see and um, so it's a lot more child-led lots and lots and lots of group work paired work for the children to do and it's very participative so just as I suppose primary teaching as um, a job when you when you qualify from this course um there's more than one route you can take in terms of a future career obviously a lot of you um tuning in into this uh, want to become a primary school teacher have your own class have your own group of students but you know um over the time you might say well i might want to do something different i might want to become a um, an inspector for the Department of Education. I might want to become an inspector for DCU. Um, I might want to become a lecturer and teach students how to be primary, good primary school teachers. Um, or, you know, so there's lots of different avenues and you can even work with the um, NCCA with, who, divide, who, come up, who make up the curriculum um, for Ireland or you can work with the Department of Education. So, there's lots of different, you know, um, avenues and things like that. And you learn on the job as you go along as teaching. Um, you learn all of the time. So just to um, quickly go on to, I suppose, entry routes. So DC002 is the Catholic route. DC003 is the Gale Tot applicants route. So you must live in the Gale Tot in order to apply for that route. And then we've got DC004, which is the Church of Ireland route. The majority of students will go the Catholic because I think up to 92% of schools in Ireland are Catholic. So we have a Catholic ethos. So therefore, with the DC002, um, Qualificate like if you go with that Catholic route, you can teach in any school in Ireland. Whereas with the DC004 route, you are only able to teach in the other eight percent of schools in Ireland, and um, whether they be Church of Ireland or um, non-religious schools. So the entry requirements, um, I presume you know these um, already, but for Two. Um, in 2022, the points were 506, 378, and for DC04, the points were 426. So, grades with them. So, you need a H4 in Irish. Um, a lot of people ask me, is the Irish on the course tough? Um, to be honest, it, it can look, it can be a tiny bit challenging at times, but um, the reason why the college set out to be a H4 in Irish is because they want you coming into the course with a good level of Irish that you can teach the children that you are going to be teaching with Irish. Do you have to be fluent with Irish? Not at all. Um, but you do need to have a good level, you know, and H4 level is fine 
to be having this course. Um, so a H, a ho, an O4 or a H7 in English, and then an O4 and a H7 in maths. And on our course is approximately between 400 and 430 places every year available. So I'll just go quickly through this um, pie chart here. So you will see the dark blue one on the right. So that is the amount, but the dark blue one is the amount of time you will spend on paths. So you just got over about maybe 50% there, okay, um, of your time will be spent on paths. Then you will see the grey area, which is the elective area. So that's your specialism, which I will talk about later on, but you do that in paths as well. So we add that segment to the paths, um, the blue one, you're talking about maybe 75, 70 to 75% of your time is on Pat's campus, okay? The Orange Bit of School Placement, um, you spend 28 weeks, around about 28 weeks over the four years on school placement, okay? Um, so it's roughly equates to 25% of your time, and then you spent four weeks in the Gale Talk, which I will get to um, later on. Basics knowledge um, of teaching with a focus on junior infants to the second class kind of area of the primary school. Then in second year, you again build up this knowledge, however, with the focus being on third class to sixth class. The year I'm in, year three, um, you learn kind of more theoretical things um, and you, you kind of develop your knowledge on different curriculum areas and then in year four again kind of the same to year three except you undertake a research project at, at the end of the year four so you will see here that there is um lots of modules okay so we've got literacy which is english maths um and I, you can read through them all there but they are all the core modules you have to do on this um course so just for maybe for some of them there that you may not know of, so digital learning is like um, learning how to use digital resources. So how, learning how to use maybe cahoots, things like that, okay? Special education, that would be more so geared towards how to teach children maybe with dyslexia, dyspraxia, or maybe mild general learning disabilities, okay? Um, early childhood education would be a focus on junior and senior your infants um, and how to teach them. Sociology is learning about how society kind of acts. Psychology is learning about the, I suppose, what how children think every day. And then philosophy makes you think of things that maybe question things about topics in life in general. Um, educational disadvantage, so learning about Jesh schools, um, schools that are in maybe areas that are disadvantaged. Inclusion, again, that's kind of how to include students in lessons and things like that. So just moving on to the specialism now. So in first year, to my knowledge, you pick two specialism subjects, OK? And you only have about six or seven to choose from. And they're mainly maths, English, Irish and kind of geography um, subjects like that the kind of main ones okay in second year you get a ch so you get another kind of cao list um from the college and you have to rank from one to ten what specialism you want to um choose so if i want so i'm on the history specialism and i love the history i've always wanted to, it was my number one choice and i got my number one choice but it does go down to your first year grades so that's it so for example the pe one in my year was a very high demand one and um, so what happened is uh, some people did not get the PE one because their PE grade in first year and uh, maybe wasn't as high as other people who applied to do the PE one so just keep that in mind and um, if you are really interested in a specific area and um, that's high in demand just make sure you do well in that module and um, so there's five modules over the three years so you do two in second year two in third year and then your last one in fourth year for your specialism Okay, school placement. Um, so I kind of mentioned this already. So you do 28 weeks of um, school placement over the four years. You work in lots of different kinds of schools. 
you work alongside um, a cooperating teacher who helps and guides you throughout the school placement. In first year, you spend two weeks out in schools. In second year, you spend four weeks. In third year, I spent the whole of semester one, so from September to December, out in school, 12 weeks. And then in fourth year, you take 10 weeks. Um, first and third year, you source your own, you find your own placements, and um, usually because it's a home placement, because um, you would usually pick a school that's near where you live. And then in second and fourth year, the college pick your school placement, which is generally in the greater Dublin area. But to be honest, that does not just mean County Dublin. We had people last year uh, who got placements in Drogheda, even Dundalk. So the greater Dublin area kind of expands maybe there and places like me loud places like that okay i'm not going to spend too much time in this slide but basically 75 percent of your time is spent in small groups okay i know that there's 400 to 430 in my year but a lot of the time and um, particularly in first and second year you are in small lecture rooms with maybe 30 maximum in them okay um, and they're active teaching approaches you learn um, by doing so i remember last year for drama we actually had to um perform a drama in front of our lecturers so that was interesting in itself so um and for art you actually get to do the art so it's it's um it's very interesting the way the college teach us how to uh be teachers in art and drama and different subjects like that. There is an Erasmus opportunity in semester two of third year. So currently, I think there's about 30 people in my year, 30 to 40 people in my year at the moment who are currently abroad on Erasmus. Um, so they, well, they, they haven't started it yet. Some colleges don't start at the end of the January abroad. So um, it's something if you wanted to go abroad for one semester, um, you know, that's an opportunity you can take. And the good thing about my course is, yet I have not sat an exam. I have not sat an exam yet, and I'm halfway through third year. I've done online exams, that, like a, like that last 40 minutes, maybe, but I haven't sat a proper exam in the, the, um, the halls of St. Patrick's campus. Um, it's all continued. Most of it's continuous assessment, you know, quizzes, essays, um, projects, things like that. Here um, and stuff like that, okay? So just quickly, so why DCU? It's a very student-friendly campus. I've made lots of friends here. There's lots of societies in DCU, and there's lots of things to do. And um, we've got our own student bar in the Glass Nevin campus, which is brilliant. We've got our own um, sports pitch at the back of Pat. So there's different, lots of different resources and things um, like that. And then just very quickly, so why primary teaching? It's a profession that's highly respected in society. Um, children like the, the children will adore you like as like they will if they will be your best friend for the for the couple of weeks that you're with them during school placement because um they will just love like the activities that you are doing with them and things like that and it's a very important role in society um and it's a very challenging changing rewarding interesting um job that is constantly constantly changing and it's an opportunity to make a difference on society